I was going to say, I, I think mean, there's plenty of women. Low percentage. There's plenty of women who are mature enough at a young age, who are ready to get married, who are ready to have kids, who don't have a high body count. I mean, you can be 19, 20, 21. I know plenty of people, even in college, that got engaged to people that were maybe older and graduated 28, 29. But just because they're younger doesn't mean they're not mentally or physically ready for any of those life experiences. I completely yes. agree. I, I was, let me, I was I, commenting. Let me just on. add one point to what she said. I would actually argue, like, men have a little longer period of time to get their life figured out uh, mm -hmm. because of like childbirth, that sort of stuff. Uh, uh, so I actually think the perfect time for a girl to like try to lock in a long-term partner is actually when you're young. It's mm -hmm. not when you're in your 30s. Like you have your, your, you are at your strongest, let's say negotiating position when between the ages of like, let's say 18 to 25. Mm -hmm. You can lock down like pretty much the best partner then so a lot and what happens is a lot of women focus career and hey i'm i think career is fine Wait, what I think do you that's mean fine. by negotiating like that's when you're at your like you're at your prime when you're, you're in your between prime. the ages of 19 to 25 as a woman you can find your most optimal partner at that point because like brian said if you're chasing your career and you're 26 27 28 then a man as you're getting older is not going to want to marry you as much the older that you get it's That's crazy how you guys like are like anti-sex or an anti-prostitution or whatever but yet this is giving the same kind of energy what do you I, mean? I mean, she, what? she has a certain value at this age and she's like more like sellable to a better man right but that actually, we're, we're not saying that she's celebrating. Yeah, it's like, like well, that's, well, that's kind of what well, it sounds okay, like. Okay, but yeah. I mean, you're, you're trying to pigeonhole like what we're saying here. But like, if we can look at things realistically, people have a value on the dating marketplace. And mm -hmm. when I say value, it's not your value as a human being. Everybody has value. Your life has value. But in terms of your value on the the relationship marketplace, the marriage marketplace, the sexual marketplace, and I know you're smiling, oh, okay. But the reality is, like, people have value on the marketplace. Now, th and this is a way to, this isn't a way to diminish people and to, to minimize people, but it's just a way to articulate in an anal analytical sort of way, okay, how are things gonna play out on the dating marketplace? Because it is competitive. You are competing with other women. Men are competing with other men. And we tend to try to match up with, you know, we try to get the best we can. Okay. Perhaps so you, you object to this sort of commodification. It's not even really a commodification. Yeah, but I mean, I, yeah, but it is. I mean, you said it, not me. I mean, I didn't is this think like, You think this is like a gotcha? Oh, my God, Brian, he... It's it's a pretty common term. Like no, I no, I I'm completely aware. Okay. I are you familiar with the sexual marketplace? Yes, I'm completely aware with so it. So there's the you dating to, marketplace. You the, have the, to like mansplain it to me. Yes, I yes, I'm a completely aware. How it's not? I'm not mansplaining. Which by the way, I I uh, disavow your use of a rather sexist term. Is it sexist? I mansplain I is. I think it is sexist. In the same way, if I were, were to say woman splain. Woman splain. Okay. <laughs> True. Because you're valid. You're, you're, valid. You're, no. You're valid. Putting, you are putting. You're attaching someone's gender to like I, I just you're trying to d diminish what i'm saying by okay, saying okay well i'm i apologize because i apology cause accepted Continue no because i'm point. honestly not like the kind of girl who like i have no issues with men i actually i love men. most of my friends are men i have only brothers like i have no issues with men at all but um yeah man's is just a term it's it's like a okay so let's continue explain. with the conversation anyways um yeah, so, no, I mean, the, the, the thing with the sexual marketplace that bothers me is that I feel like it, it's so black and white. And the issue with, like, red pill in general for me as someone who's, like, leaning more towards blue pill, although I do, I do agree with some of your points, um, is that it's so black and white. Like, it lacks nuance. I mean, people in general, they're not getting married these days at 19 years old. And, I mean... It's kind of the same concept of, of like when you're 19, like, do you really want to get married with the guy? Like, I, my first, my six year relationship that I was talking about, I was 17 when we got together. We could have gotten married, but I chose not to because I felt like I, I kind of outgrew him. And if we had gotten married at 18, for example, we probably would have ended up divorced. I'm not saying like get married immediately at 18, but what I am saying is like, I would say that you are in your peak years between say 18 to 25. Do you think it'd be easier for say like a 48 year old woman to find someone on the dating marketplace than a 19 year old woman? No, well that's I an think extreme. that's what we're well, that, that's extreme. I mean, I'm just saying that like I think that everybody, men and women should like 
get some experience before they jump into getting married. No one's saying that they shouldn't, yeah. I don't think. Yeah. I think that he's trying to say that, and sorry, not to put words in your mouth, but I think it's more um, that within your 20s, within your 20s, I feel like that's realistically like a good time. Like, like, like you're, you're the most valuable, but like yes. to who? To, to a partner, a long term relationship. Yeah. If you, you don't, get, uh, go, 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 sorry, go ahead, go ahead, if yeah. you get married later in life, even if it's just if it's just somebody who is also getting married on later in life, it's, uh, I I I want to say less likely to work. If it was more likely to work out, it would be due to lack of other options for both parties. Yeah. Well, like here's a common thing you hear, for example, is like, and look, I'm, and I think I kind of touched on this. I don't have an issue with women like. I think it's great that the that we can what's what's the right term here that we can uh, and I'm using this in the most charitable sense that we can exploit the genius and intellect of women to for example I think it's wonderful that women are going into STEM and researching cancer and I think we need to we need to put as much manpower no pun like <laughs> woman power to <laughs> trying to solve some of the most challenging problems that we face in society, cancer research, you know, tackling certain um, uh, illnesses, diseases, et cetera. I think it's wonderful to have women in the workforce. However, what you do have is a lot of women who, throughout their 20s, focus on their career, get into their 30s, and they're like, wow, this really isn't particularly fulfilling. I'd really, prefer, I'd really like to have a family and kids, but once you get to your mid-30s, it does become, I th I'd say for, even for both men and women, but perhaps more so for women, it becomes a bit more difficult to find a partner. And so, and the other thing you have is you'll also have, in addition to the career component, you'll have women who they'll spend their 20s just like fucking a bunch of dudes, casual sex, and then they get to the finish line, or maybe not the finish line, but they get to their 30s. Oh, I want a husband. I want to have like, kids. Nobody wants them, right? I have a, I have a right. bunch of baggage from like fucking all these dudes. My body count's high. Maybe I picked up herpes on the way. <laughs> Okay. It's just gonna be more difficult. Good luck. Okay, see, so the so that wants STD them. thing I can actually get on. Like that's my big thing with body count. Well, that's count. that's the that's yeah. another thing with body count. Yeah. The more sexual partners you yeah, have, the more the, more the, the, the greater yes, likelihood to get an STD. Yeah. So you don't think that a woman loses value in areas like wisdom, career, etc., but in relationship-wise, right? What What do you mean? Like, so we're talking about how a woman loses value as they. Um, age. Mm -hmm. No, I, I, that's a hard way to lose, lose value. It value. just becomes more, more difficult just like, for them to. It, it's a hard like, way for example, to let, let, let me. Okay, when I'm when I'm 50 years old, I think I will have less value in the dating marketplace yeah. than I do now. So we're just exclusively speaking about the dating scene, not necessarily other walks of life, like yeah. career. Okay, that's I'm just clarifying. Yeah, no, it's not because like I think that um, your value as a human. Yeah, yeah. No, a lot of people. It's concern, just like concern. Yeah. No, that, that's not mm -hmm. what we're talking no, about. No, I agree. I think I think biologically, obviously, it's true that as you age, your. Uh, For example, here here's another example. Um, if if I just tomorrow woke up. 300 pounds heavier and I was obese, mm -hmm. my value in the dating marketplace, I completely agree it would be you, yeah. much harder for no, me 100%. to attract women. Mm -hmm. Therefore, my value yeah. on the yeah. marketplace has been diminished. Mm -hmm. I totally agree with you. I just think that I'm still a human being. And, yeah, but, but 100%. Yeah. But I think the problem that most people have with the conversation is they're not viewing it from like a um, completely cornered off perspective like that. They're viewing it like, oh, well, a woman loses value in all walks of life as they Very get older, personally, which isn't, yeah. isn't true yet. But no. we're talking about no. biology here. No, not so, at yeah. all. Okay. Not at all. But like in terms of being attractive to the opposite yeah, no, sex, I completely agree with like you. 